YouTube, what's cracking? What's well, crack a lack and Simir Shabane tuning in live from my kitchen here uh, on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. And I just wanted to check in with you guys, okay? How many of you guys are uh, either invested in the stock market right now, trying to scalp some opportunity right now, or maybe you're just really, really, really excited to, to dive in there, but you just don't know what kind of stocks to get. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share exactly why I'm personally staying out of it completely. And second of all, if you wanted to go ahead and dive in and, and invest in some stocks, like you see some opportunity, um, how you should be going about doing so. And last but not least, what type of people need to stay away completely, okay? So make sure you stick around for the next couple of minutes here. It's gonna be real brief. Um, honestly, just have been, you know, seeing on my Instagram, also uh, a lot of friends are calling me up saying, hey, Samir, you know, I'm, I'm trying to invest. There's a lot of opportunity, man. And this is really what's scaring me um, and why I'm personally staying away. Because everybody's saying it has to go back up, right? So a lot of stocks, like for example, airlines that have been affected by the coronavirus, um, you know, travel bans and whatnot, um, you know, companies that have to do with the restaurants or hospitality have also went down a lot, but they should go back up, okay? So when I hear things like that, I'm personally, not, it doesn't really get me excited. It actually encourages me to stay away even more because that's not a very rational reason, in my opinion, to, to invest in, uh, in the stock or, or the stock market or stocks or the market in general. Uh, now, however, there is definitely some stocks that will go back up, right? Some stocks that obviously you know, have enough cash, have enough assets, have enough breathing room to be able to see this thing through and, you know, make it out on top right after. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't be investing um, and, and you should be very, very scared because everybody's saying it's going to go back up or everybody thinks it's gonna go back up because the truth is, that at some point or the other, it will go back up. But for me personally, I am not going to go ahead and jump into the stock market and start investing because I haven't really been doing so for the past couple months, past couple years. Maybe in the near future I will, but for the past couple months, we've been focusing on building an e-commerce brand um, that you see here that's at 99.97K for the month. So 99,900 and seventy dollars for the month. Maybe before we end the video here, it'll be at um, six figures for the month. But you know, it, it's really, really key to not lose sight of what's already working for you. Especially if you have an e-commerce brand right now, uh, or you have an e-commerce store that's doing okay or doing well. Make sure you don't get distracted with, hey it's bound to go back up. Because even though that is true, you're still gonna have to take a lot of time to do your research, do your investigations to see which companies are well worth the risk, all right? Um, and with that being said, if you haven't started an e-commerce business or you wanna learn how to just start your own e-commerce brand, there's a free training right below this video here that you can check out. Um, but the second thing that I wanted to cover is, okay, let's say you're like, hey, Samir, I wanna dive in there, I want to capitalize on some opportunity. Well, my piece of advice to you would be, rule number one, only invest what you're willing to lose, okay? For example, we started this e-commerce brain here with about a thousand to two thousand dollars, okay? And when it comes to the stock market, that's probably how much you know, you're gonna wanna dive in there. Now, I'm using that number here because I'm assuming my overall audience is around uh, that income where you have about an extra thousand to, you know, a couple thousand laying around. If you're trying to invest tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, uh, you're probably gonna wanna get some professional advice rather than just, you know, throwing it in there. Again, though, I can't stress enough, make sure you're willing to, to lose it or have it tied up in there in case it doesn't go back up right away, okay? So that's my piece of advice for those of you guys that wanna capitalize on uh, the opportunity that's out there, because trust me, 
it's there is a lot of it um, and it can be very exciting but like Warren Buffett says uh, sometimes the key is to say no to opportunities rather than to say yes all the time okay and saying no allows you to focus on your current business okay or what you got going on right now um, now the last uh, group of people is those that should stay very very far away okay it's those of you that one either don't have any uh, disposable income right you don't have any type of money that you're willing to lose or willing to risk and you know or, or willing to have it tied up for a little while okay uh, that's should be pretty obvious but you know I personally made the mistake where I've dove into something with money I can't lose or have tied up and it turned out pretty bad so take my word uh, for it all right and, and the other group of people is just people really that don't understand um, the markets at all. Okay, don't understand what a stock really is. Don't understand what it means to own a share. Don't understand what it means to, um, you know, what it means to analyze a stock. I personally don't really know much about that. Okay, so that's why I'm, again, I'm staying away. Now, obviously, I can read a balance sheet, I can read a 10K form, but. I'm not the type to be uh, just blind guessing and blind betting on the market because at the end of the day, it, you're literally just gambling um, if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you do know what you're doing, you're still gambling, okay? So be very careful um, and yeah, just take the opportunity as it comes. But I just wanted to share again as to why I'm personally not investing in the stock market and I'm staying out of it. Um, it might be a big mistake, might not be who knows i don't really care i'll live with it um i'm sure it'll come back again the same opportunity will be around again but for now we're gonna go ahead and focus in on our e-commerce brand okay 99.97 i don't know why i keep saying that it should be ninety nine thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars uh for the month and i was really hoping we'd get a sale here within the couple of minutes i'm recording this video so we could celebrate together um but again hopefully you guys are, are staying safe out there staying healthy your family as well uh, and you're seizing as much opportunity as possible but at the same time skilling up you know becoming more valuable and really just getting ready uh, for when this whole thing is over uh, to get out there stronger than ever all right peace out hopefully you got some value make sure you leave a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe as well if you want more uh short sweet valuable videos like this all right Peace.